I'm sorry I'm not here, but if you leave your name and number, I'll get back to you first chance, promise. Katrin. I'm sorry. All they're good for these days is showing. Same as this great wet lettuce. Why do you keep them, then? Because I'm an awkward beggar, that's why. Same as you know. On a day like this, I'm everyone's friend. Especially beauty like you. There's that pair of kites. You can tell by their forked tails. A mated pair. Welsh eagles, my dad used to call them. Thought they were gone. Oh. They're coming back, slowly. With a little help from their friends. Turning up like this. If that's how you feel, I'll just turn around and go back. <laughs> I'm glad Tess is having another fall. Not right to keep one of these beauties on their own. <laughs> She's not on her own, though, is she, eh? We look after each other. <laughs> <laughs> Any change in her eating habits? No. Hmm. She's off colour, Henry. Out of sorts from what she usually is. If you say so, but you must be seeing something I can't. Hmm. Resigned? Well, decided not to renew my contract. It's a, a big global multinational mum. The animals are just units. Well, you knew that when you accepted the job. Sure, and I, I gave it a go for a while. The money they were offering, who wouldn't? Now what? Now I'm very much richer. And wiser, I hope. What about your part-time job? Are you still doing that? Oh, yes, I'll give that up for anything. Your father says that keeping the local farmer's books in order is one step short of flirting with them. And is it? My lips are sealed. <laughs> Well, I, I was spring cleaning and I found them. Oh, Mum. It brought back memories. Oh, it's so good to have you back again, Tom. <laughs> Just to let you know I'm here. Yes. I saw the car. Used to belong to the company. If you don't mind, I'd like you to remove the sticker. I don't want my clients to think I've been hobnobbing with some flashy drug company's rep. Mandy, I want you to walk off to your own. Go on, that's it. Come on, Lofty. Good. 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 Well done. 
<laughs> well, lot is as good as new. Really? How much will it cost, Mr Kirby? Well, let's see now. No expensive drugs. Let's face it, you did most of the work. Let's say, um, ten hours helping Anna to feed and clean the animals. Hmm? Thanks, Mr Kirby. Oh, off you go, go on. Well done, Lofty. Still in the barter economy, I see. Yes. That way Mandy gets to keep the pony. What does your accountant have to say about that? I don't have an accountant. Your mother does the books. Too many accountants in the world already. Not enough human beings. Go on, off you go. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on. So, lost your job again, have you? No, I didn't lose it. I resigned. <laughs> Whatever. It wasn't for me, Dad. Since you left college, you've had what? Four jobs? Five, if you count the brief period you spent here when you first qualified. Which was mistake number one. And there was the practice in Godalming. The poodle parlour in Mayfair? Dad, this isn't my school report we're discussing. Quite. It's your life. And one I see lurching blindly from one dead-end job to another. What did you say? Dad, it is my life. And I will decide what I do with it, not you. This isn't about gaining experience for the job, is it? Why ask me? I mean, you have all the answers already. You're searching for something, Tom. Just looking in the wrong places for it, that's all. Well, whatever it is, I won't find it here working for you, Dad. Good night to you too, you great daft. I'll back off and get your head down. Another day tomorrow. Come on, Mabel, out of there. Now, just a moment. You forgot my breakfast. Not true, Noah. Your breakfast, darling. Oh, and by the way, I'll be out and about this morning. Uh, with you and Tom alone in the house, just go easy on him. Hmm? I'll be as nice to him as you are to me. All right? Tessa? Tessa? What's wrong? <laughs> I didn't know you were working here. Well, I am. How long are you staying? Let's see how it goes. Nobody said you were coming back, and here you are. <laughs> I can't believe it. How long? Oh, no, I've already asked you that, haven't I? Right. Maybe I'll see you around. You know, down the pub? Yeah, sure. It's the phone. <laughs> I'll take it outside. How long has uh, Anna been working here? Oh, a few months. I'll get him to as soon as he can. One of the best assistants I've ever had. Yeah, I'm sorry. She's going to make a fine vet, too. Yeah. Last time I saw her, she was pigtailed and pony mad. Oh, ah. These days, 
Anna follows in the footsteps of her teenage hero, you, Tom. One of your biggest fans, Anna. Do you know what she told me about you the other day? Noah! You, mm? It was Mrs. Argraves. Her cat Tuffy died yesterday. Oh, how sad. He was a nice cat. She's buried him, but she's worried about one of her other cats, Winston. Worried? In what way? It's weird. Winston can't be moved from the spot in the garden where she buried Tuffy. Well, there's nothing weird about that. Winston and Tuffy were best friends. <laughs> best friends, two cats. You find that amusing, Tom? No, Dad, just typical of you. Hmm. Did you see who shot it? No, but it happened on Buxton Estate land. Everybody knows there's a pair of kites nesting in the district. I told Sir Harold myself. It's that new keeper, I bet. Mm. All right, Henry. Thank you. Leave it with us. Right. <clears throat> Is there something else? Well, it's about Tessa. It might do to have a look at her. She's not ill, is she? Not as such. Nothing I can put a finger on. Right. Well, if it's not urgent, I'll, I'll pop in as soon as I'm free, all right? Right. That's it. Right. Come on, then. Come on. We must tell Claire about this. She'll want to be in on it. female from the Boxton nest site. There are no other red kites inside 20 miles of here. Well, she's going to make it back to the wild, aren't you, eh? Well, mm -hmm. yeah, but it's a possible disaster for the pair if we don't get her airborne soon. Why? Well, if the male thinks she's gone, he'll leave and find another mate. Oh, how could this have happened? I thought the Boxton estate tolerated raptors. Henry Meacher thinks the new keeper had a hand in it. Oh, Tom. Now, this is Claire Summers, Tom Kirby, the son and heir. Oh, hello. Not some overpaid drug rep, then. <laughs> and you're obviously not the VAT inspector. <laughs> like some tea? Okay. Oh, not that mug. That's Claire's mug. Oh, I'm very attached to my own mug. Thank you. Um, which one? Not Noah's. That's mine. You can have it. Thank you. So what's happened? Well, some idiot with a gun for a brain. The wing's not badly damaged. It's shock we've got to worry about. Yeah. Mm. Is that an interosseous cannula? Mm. I've never actually seen that done. One of Claire's little tricks. How long has he been there? Since yesterday, when I buried Tuffy. Have you given him any food? He's just not interested, Mr. Kirby. Will he allow you near him? No. He goes off before I can get there. It's so upsetting. Normally so friendly. He's grieving, Mrs. Hargraves. I don't know. I've kept cats all my life. I've never seen anything like this before. Taking on a partner, Mum. Partner? Claire Summers. Oh, Claire. No, she's the wildlife vet. Very active locally. Seems to know her stuff. Oh, she does. Dad lets her use the surgery from time to time. And sometimes they pitch in together. They make a very good team. Catherine. It's over, Mum. Do you mind?
There's no other, please. No, he's out on a case. Mr. Kirby's going straight on to yours. Your test is definitely next on his list. Lucky, nothing broken, just bruising, mild concussion. Thank God for that. Apparently, Mr. Kirby suffered a dizzy spell whilst driving. Has he ever complained of dizziness or feeling faint before? No, but then he wouldn't. Well, I suspect hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Diabetes, Mum. What? Possibly. I'm running some tests. Once we get the results in, well, now I would think. Oh, excuse me. Uh, where do you think you're going, Mr. Kirby? Home, of course. I want you back in there now. No, thanks. No, Never let the sun set on you in a hospital, they say. <laughs> Come in with a headache, go out minus a leg. You are concussed, Mr. Kirby. If all is well, you will be out of here in 24 hours. Doctor, I'm sorry. I have got a practice to run. Now, if you'll excuse me. Dad! Dad, wait! This is plain stupid and you know it. Dad, forget the practice. I'll handle it for now. You, Tom? Will you please just go back to bed? Are you saying that you'll look after my patients until I'm fit enough? Yes, I am saying that. A backward practice like mine? It's a bit beneath you, I would have thought. Dad. Right. Henry Meacher. I was on my way to see him now. Okay, well, I'll see him in the morning. No, now. I will see him first thing. I'll ask Claire. She knows Meacher. We'll trust her. Dad, will you please let me do this? All right. If you insist. I'll do as the doctor ordered. Horse is a horse, Mr. Mitra. Winston, you don't live here. Come back here. How's she feeding, Mr. Mitra? Any changes in the diet, Grazer? Your father asked the same question. He spotted something amiss a few days back. <coughs> Maybe if we talk to him... But previous pregnancies, do you have any problems with those? Nothing like this, never. OK, go. Do you make your own hay? Some, and the rest I buy in from Stan Fletcher. You know what's causing it, then? I'll need samples of blood, faeces and urine. Once we've had those checked out, we'll know what's going on. OK, go. Stand. Stand. Hey, Tom. I'm glad to hear Noah's okay. He was lucky. And it says you're covering for him. That's what I thought. Did Noah send you out here? In a way, yeah. I thought so. Is there something I'm missing here, Tom? Did Noah send you out here to see Mr. Meacher's mayor? Why would he do that? To give a second opinion, maybe. Is that what you really think? Yeah, that's how it looks to me. Well, why don't you look again, Tom? Mr. Meacher may know who shot that red kite, so I'm here to talk to him about it. End of story. <sighs> okay, sorry, I thought... Um, I got it wrong, okay? Oh, yeah, very wrong. But as I am here, if you do need a second opinion on the Shire, feel free to ask. Well, thanks for all your help, Val. Listen, uh, you wouldn't mind if I drop your name a bit when I'm talking to those council Imlers? If you think it'll do any good. Well, Chair of the Heritage Committee's got to mean something, I say. You see, the point is, 
cat's going to be absolutely heartbroken if we have to get rid of her birds. I'm sure that if you have neighbours that object to the noise... Well, we got used to it. Well, at least I did, so why can't they? I mean, there's not much to ask, you know what I mean? Oh, Tom! Tom, Nick Baldwin. A recent arrival at Melton. Mr Baldwin. My friends call me Nicky. So, you're Val's famous son. <laughs> Staying long? Ah, uh, flying visit. Well, if you get any time, drop in on Kath and I at the manor house. Door's always open for a friend of Val's. If I get time. Right. Cheers. <laughs> what time are you picking bed up? I'm on my way now. OK. Tell him, Mr Meacher's mayor, not to worry. I'm, I'm on the case. All right, I'll pass on the message. You look very dishy in your blue coat, darling. Does that duck follow him everywhere? Yep. They were accidentally imprinted on Mr. Jasper. He thinks he's a mum. Come on, Vera. Mr. Kirby wouldn't be seen dead in anything like that. Thank you, Mandy. These are the boarders, Tom. Surgery cases? Mostly or accident, malnutrition, dehydration. Mm -hmm. Like this head joke. Found him stuck in a drain. Whose are the badgers? I found the mother dead when they were cubs, so we hand rode them. Oh, don't look like that. They were meant to be released ages ago, but they went down with enteritis, so... Doing all right now, though. So who pays for the, the treatment of all these animals? Uh, can't rightly say. Mrs. Hargraves, now. The mayor's temperature was normal, you say? Yes, but the symptoms weren't conclusive. Could be any one of a dozen different pathogens involved. Virus, you think? Dad, I don't like guessing. We'll know for sure tomorrow when we get the VR report on the samples. Did you check for nasties in the feed, eh? Oh, of course. Not every bale, but... The stuff in the racks was clean. Well, if there are toxic plants in the hay, they could have been eaten weeks, if not months ago. It won't necessarily show now. You're saying he might have been negligent? Well, Henry? No, no way. <laughs> he loves that shire. No, 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 he's suffering as much as she is. I'm treating the horse, Dad, not the owner. In this case, the two are inseparable. Each to his own. Well, if there are poisons, we'd better get a move on. That mare's close to foaling. I've told you what I've done. Now, if that's not good enough for you, you deal with it yourself. Don't be so damn defensive! Look, if you want me to treat that shire, you will do me the courtesy of trusting my judgement. I... The Land Rover. Is it back from the garage yet? No, I told them you wouldn't need it till tomorrow. <sighs> I see. No work. Early supper, full night's rest. Yes. Doctor's orders. Well, if you insist on treating me like an invalid, I suppose I'd better behave like one. You didn't need to come, Noah. Not after the knock you took. Oh, won't take long. Hello, Tom. 
Oh, Jimmy, I heard you were back. And here I am to prove it, mate. Long stay, is it? Not if I can help it. Uh, have a pint of best, please, mate. Hello, Carl. What's going on, eh? That's a That's it. Yes, it's breaking out. Hello. Claire? I was hoping you'd be here. Look, um, about today... Claire Summers. Was... Yes? Graham Sowerby. Keep from the Boston Estate. I heard you wanted a word. Yes. It's about a red kite that was found shot on your beat. What's that got to do with me? That depends on whether or not you pull the trigger, Mr Sowerby. You claim and I did. You know the law and the penalties concerning protected animals. At least you ought to. I've got a job to do. No one's paid to break the law, Mr. Sarvi. Meaning? If you're shooting protected species, you're in trouble. What you want? Say what you like. But this is for now. Anyone or anything that screws up my work has me to reckon. birds nesting on his estate. Well, we think so, but we haven't been able to find the nesting site. Well, I'd say if that character finds it first, he'll have one. Yep, with no one any the wiser. Look, um, about today, I think... Oh, uh, no, 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 it was my fault. I was completely out of order. And I overreacted. Well, let me buy you a pint and we'll call it quite safe. OK, it's a deal. Is Tom upstairs? Never mind, Tom. I need to speak to him. Come in here. Well? What the hell do you think you're playing at? You've been out on a case, haven't you? Yes, I, I had to look at Henry Meacher's shirt. Oh, Henry Shire, Billy's pig, Charlie's cat. One whistle and you jump to command. You're ill. You need rest. I had to go. You had to do no such thing. You deliberately deceived me stealing off into the night like that. I had to attend, Val. It's my job. Stop behaving as if no one else exists, Noah. You're a bloody fool. So am I for waiting here hour after hour, worrying myself half to death about you. I'm sorry. You can't keep this up. Without full-time help, you'll be carried out of here feet first. Shush, shush, shush. Val. Don't write me off yet, eh? It's not fair, now. Look, I promise, when Tom joins the practice... Don't you dare pressurise him. I'm not. He loves you. You're ill. He'll feel obliged to take it on. Look, look, there's no need. I'm convinced, whatever Tom says, that eventually he'll join the practice. Now, look, I must speak to him. Where is he? Where you should be, in bed. Right. Noah? It's important, Val. Tom! Ah! The Shire, Tom. It's plant poisoning. Ragwort or bracken, a few other possibles. Now, Tessa's symptoms could be induced by any of them. Have you had the lab reports back yet? No. Then what proof do you have that it's plant poison? Well, judgment based on instinct and experience. What else? It sounds like witch doctor talked to me, Dad. No arguments, Tom. It is a plant toxin. Which plant? I can't say yet. If it's ragwort, then we'll lose the mare and the foal. There's no treatment. If it's Bracken, we're in with the chance. Now, our first job is to identify what she's taken, when, and how much. Right? Unless that is you, with your vast experience, have a better idea. The field's as clean.
mean as a whistle, Henry? I told you so. The Haystem Fletcher sold you. Do you remember when it was all used up? Tessa finished it weeks back. It was just one load. I think we should still have a look at it. Could I have a word first, Noah, in private, like? Oh. I'll wait by the car. <laughs> that lad of yours, I don't say he doesn't have the learning, just lacks the feel, somehow. You don't have to worry about Tom, Henry. <laughs> He's got what it takes. Should have. I put it there. <laughs> Having a moan about me, was he? Oh, he needs reassurance, that's all. That man is like a broody hen around that shy horse. Henry lost his missus five years ago. Since then, his animals, and his shire especially, have been the focus of his life. Now, you can understand that, can't you, Tom? Do you know what? I am trained to treat animals, not people. Fair enough, but not enough. Never forget the people factor, Tom. Dad. Hmm? It's the mate of the shot bird. It has to be. Follow it, Tom. Quick, now. I'll wait here. Go on. Thank goodness he hadn't packed his bags yet. Yes, we've still got a chance to reunite them. We need your help, Stan. If you've come about that hay, you sold Henry. Have you spoken to him? That's right. He rang to check up about it. Was the hay from your own meadows? Imagine me. It's important we know this, Mr. Fletcher. I sell only first class A. Look, you cut and bail hay for others on contract. Now, was any of that on the load you sold Henry? We're not wanting to blame anyone, Stan. Then what? Well, in order to help Henry Shire, we need to know what poisoned her. Uh, one of my new lads bunged in some hay cut at Melton, you know, to make up the load. I wasn't here when it happened. Where exactly at Melton? Meadow behind the manor house. Belongs to that new bloke, one with the ruddy peacocks. Well, there's no bracken or ragwort here. Ah, we found our culprit. Horsetail. Ah! Hello, Mr. Kirby. Tom? Mr. Baldwin? Yeah. Lovely gardens you have, not to mention the peacocks. Yeah, Kath always says the gardens are a pivotal feature of the house. <laughs> so peaceful. <laughs> Hi. This is Baldwin. This is my son, Tom. This is Baldwin. Yes, sir, Nicky said you might drop in. Oh, Dimitri, calm down, calm down. We're all friends here. <laughs> He's a Russian dog, you know. Yes. You don't get many Borzois in the village. 
Now what, Kath and I got him to protect the peacocks. Haven't lost one yet, so Dimitri must be a real tiger. Yeah, brilliant, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at us all standing here. Nicky, where's your manners? At least offer our guests a drink. Actually, we're here on official business. Oh, yes? How do you mean, official? That hayfield of yours at the back, Mr Baldwin, is it true that it was cut and baled earlier this summer? Yeah, it was no use to us. We just gave it away to needy horses and such. I'm afraid it's full of toxic plants. Toxic? How do you mean, toxic? Poisonous, Nicky. It's full of this. Horsetail. It was baled up in your hay. The result is one dangerously ill mare and the possible loss of her valuable foal. Yeah, I wasn't to know that, though, was I? Well, you know now, don't you, Mr Baldwin? Oh, I do, do I? It's like that, is it? Well, it wasn't my fault, was it, Cat? Oh, it sure isn't mine. Well, it was your idea to give the stuff away, free, like. Oh, I didn't say to fill it full of toxics, did I, Nicky? Look, I'm sure you meant well, but if you are thinking of giving away your hay in the future from that field, first you must get rid of the weed. It's a killer, you see. Well, that's all right. <laughs> Lab report on the samples from Mr. Meech's show. Oh, what's it say? It's plant poison. Lucky guess. Do you ever guess wrong? All the time. But rarely with animals. How long have you been working around here? Well, with the Wildlife Welfare Trust. Yeah. A year. Before that, I did a stint with a wild animal practice. And before that? Before that, marriage. No. You married? I was. It lasted 18 months. A classic case of marry in haste, repented leisure. Your husband? My ex husband. He's one of us, by the way. He's a vet. Where's he now? I stick a pin in a map of Africa. He have as much idea of his whereabouts as me. I. Don't mean to pry. And don't. It's, it's just the dust is still settling, you know. Sure. So do you think you can uh, set up in practice right here? Yes. Yeah, I think so. So I've decided this is pretty much where I want to be. How about you? Mm, can't say. 